in this session, we are going to discuss about geometric sequence. Afterwards, we are going to differentiate geometric sequence to arithmetic sequence. When you say geometric sequence, it is the sequence where the succeeding term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a constant number called common ratio. So for us to find the common ratio, we are going to divide the succeeding term by the preceding term. Then we are going to represent the common ratio as R. Let us have an example. Find the common ratio of the following. Let us have number 1. We have a given of 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So for us to find the common ratio of number 1, we are going to divide the the succeeding term to preceding term. So, ito yung succeeding, i-divide natin kay preceding. So, we have here 2 divided by 1. The answer is 2. Tingnan natin yung susunod. 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. Next, 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4. The answer is also 2. So, as you can see, our common ratio is equal to 2. We're done. Ganun ka simple si common ratio. Let us have number 2, 525, 125, and 625. Let us have the common ratio, 25 divided by 5. 25 divided by 5, the answer is 5. This one, 125, 125 divided by 25 is also 5. If you divide 6 to 5 divided by 5, the answer is also 5. Therefore, your common ratio is 5. Next, let us have number 3. So, we have here 100 divided by 10. 100 divided by 10, the answer is 10. Next, 1,000 1, divided by 100. It, it is also 10. Therefore, your common ratio is 10. That is it. That's common ratio. Number 4. We have 40 divided by 80. 40 divided by 80, we have here 1 half. Diba? Then, we have the next one. 20 divided by 40, the answer is also 1 half. So, for number 4, your common ratio is 1 half. Next tayo, let us have number 5. We have 64, negative 16, 4, negative 1, and 1 fourth. So, for us to find this, let us have the succeeding term over the preceding term. Negative 16 divided by 64. So, the answer here is negative 1 fourth. That is it. Tingnan naman natin ito. Dito tayo. Negative 1 over 4. Ayan. Negative 1 fourth. So, this is your common ratio. That is it. And then, if you divide 1 fourth divided by negative 1, is also negative 1 fourth. So, ganun lang po sa kasimple, kumuha ng common ratio ni geometric sequence. So, para saan ba tong common ratio na to? So, we can say that the given sequence is geometric if there is a common ratio. Then, we can also find the next term of this following sequence if we have now your common ratio. For example, I want to find the next term of 16. So, for us to find this next term of 16, I will just multiply 16 times 2. So, the answer for the next term of 16 is 32. Diba? Next tayo. I want to find the next term 625. So, I will just multiply 625 times 5. The answer is 3,125. That's the next term. Next. 10,000 multiplied by 10. The answer is 100,000. Next, 10 multiplied by 1 half, the answer is 5. Then, 1 fourth multiplied by negative 1 fourth, the answer is negative 1 over 16. That is it. So, that is the use of common ratio. Alright? Finding the missing terms of the given geometric sequence. Let us have number 1. We have 3, 12, 48, and 2 blanks here. So, for us to find the missing term, we need to find first the common ratio. So, for us to find the common ratio, we are going to divide this one. We have here 12 divided by 3. The answer is 4. So, therefore, this is your common ratio. 
Since you have now your common ratio for us to find the next term, we are going to multiply the preceding term to your common ratio. So we have here 48 multiplied by 4. That is it. So the answer here is equal to 192. So this is now your next term, 192. After 48, we have 192. Then, after 192, for us to find the next term, so 192 ulit, multiplied natin ulit by 4, the answer here is 768. Just right here, 768. We're done. So that is how you are going to find for the missing term of geometric sequence. What if nandito naman ang inyong missing term? So ano naman gagawin nyo? First ulit, let us find for the common ratio. So, let us divide this one. So, we have here 64 divided by 32. So, 64 divided by 32, we have your common ratio is 2. Since we have the common ratio is 2 at papunta siya sa left side. Okay, kanina papunta tayo sa right side nang multiply tayo. Since siya ay papunta naman sa left side, magdi-divide ka naman. Diba? Pabaliktad naman pag papunta ka sa left side. So, you will just divide 32, 32 divided by 2. So, 32 divided by 2, the answer is 16. So, therefore, the, the preceding term is 16. Next, 16 divided by 2, the answer is 8. So, the preceding term here is 8. That is it. So, if you are going to check your answer, just multiply. 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 2, 32. 32 times 2, 64. 64 times 2, 128. So, therefore, your preceding terms are correct. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have number 3. We have here, 120, 60, and then 80. Ah, uh, 30. Let us find the common ratio. So, for us to find the common ratio, let us divide this. So, you have 60 divided by 120. The answer here is, is 1 half. So, the common ratio is 1 half. This is your R. So, we will multiply 30 to 1 half. So, 30 times 1 half. The answer is 15. Just write here 15. Then, multiply mo ulit the 1 half si 15. That is numerator by numerator. Then, denominator by denominator. That is 15 over 2. So, we have here 15 over 2. Then, for the next term, just multiply it into 1 half. So, 15 times 1, we have here 15. Then, 2 times 2, we have 4. So, the next, the last term, we have 15 over 4. That is it. Let us have more examples. Number 4, we have here 5 blank, black, 40, 80, and blank. So, we are going to find for the common ratio. So, para makuha mo yung common ratio dito, yung magkatabi, yung magkakuha natin. So, we have here... Uh, 80, you are going to divide 80 by 40. So, 80 divided by 40. So, therefore, your R is equals to 2. So, that is your common ratio. So, para makuha natin dito, yung 80, 80, multiply natin by 2. So, the answer is 160. That is the next term dito. So, dito, may 5 naman dito. So, ang gagawin natin, multiply na lang din natin yung 5 by 2. So, 5 times 2, the answer is 10. Next, 10 times 2, the answer is 20. Okay? Then, 20 times 2, the answer is 40. 40 times 2, the answer is 80. Is it clear? So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Next tayo, number 5. We have here um, 12, 36, 38. Then, the missing term and the missing term. So, let us find the common ratio. So, we have here 36 divided by 12. So, basta lagi na una si succeeding kaysa kay preceding, ha? So, the answer here is R is equals to 3. That is it. R is equals to 3. So, since we have here R equals to 3, dito, para makuha mo yung susunod, just multiply. 108 times 3. So, 108 multiplied by 3, the answer is 324. That is it. Next, dito naman, para makuha mo yung preceding term, you are going to divide. Basta papunta ka sa left side, divide ka ha. Divide mo yung common ratio. Pero kung ikaw ay papunta sa right side, magmumultiply ka. Maliwanag? So, we have here 12. 12 divide natin by 3. 12 divided by 3, we have here 4. That is it. So, pabaliktad tayo, 4. Then, yung 4, divide mo by 3. 
So, we have 4 over 3. We're done. Alright? So, the terms are 4 over 3, 4, 12, 36, 108, and 3, 2, 4. Is it clear? Number 6. So, nasa gitna yung nawawala. So, dito, kunin mo lang to. So, we have here 16 divided by negative 32. That is it. So, we have the answer is negative 1 half. So, this is your common ratio. That's a common ratio. Si so, punta tayo. Ay, dito na lang tayo kay 256. Bakit pa papakahirap tayo? Meron na maunahan. So, mag-multiply tayo kaysa mag-divide. So, we have here 256 multiplied by negative 1 half. So, si 256, divide lang natin kay negative 1 half. The answer is negative 1 to 8. Then, si negative 1 to 8, i-divide, i-multiply natin by negative 1 half. So, negative times negative is positive. 128, kalahati ni 128, the answer is 64. If you multiply ulit ito by negative 1 half, the answer is negative 32. Negative 32 times negative 1 half, the answer is positive 16. Is it clear? So, kapag napansin yung alternate yung positive and negative, dapat ang sagot nyo rin ay alternate din yung positive and negative. Pero kung silang lahat naman ay negative, dapat ang lahat ng sagot mo ay negative. Is it clear? So, pag alternate ang inyong, pa, ang inyong given, therefore, kailangan ang inyong common ratio is negative. Pero kung hindi naman, pare-para sa negative, pare-para sa positive, ang common ratio nyo should be positive. Is it clear? So, let us have uh, last two examples. 7. X cubed, X raised to 6, blank, blank, then X raised to 15. So, we have here involved of variables. So, kapag involved ang variables, we are going to use loss of exponent, dividing of, of loss of exponent. So, we have here the succeeding term, divide mo sa preceding term. So, X raised to 6 divided by X cubed for us to find for the common ratio. Pag magdi-divide ka ng variable x, dito, susubdrak mo, 6 minus 3. So, we have here x cubed. This is your common ratio. Ganun lang. Just copy the variable, then subtract the exponent. Not divide, ha? Hindi po yan 6 divided by 3. It should be 6 minus 3. Is it clear? So, since you have now your x cubed, pero not, pwede na natin i-multiply sa ating preceding term. So, x raised to 6, multiply by x cubed. If you are going to multiply, ia-add mo naman yung exponent. Copy the variable which is x, then 6 plus 3, the answer is 9. So, this one is x raised to 9. So, meron ka ng pattern, 3, 6, 9. So, syempre, yung susunod ay x raised to 12. Then, ang susunod, x raised to 15. Ganun lang. That is it. Alright? Next tayo, let us have this one. 5x squared of long, 5x raised to 6, 5 raised to 8. So, let us have this one. Find the common ratio. So, you have here 5x raised to 8 over 5x raised to 6. Cancel out yung 5. Ito matitira. Kasi magiging 1 na yan. Just copy the variable x. So, ito ay subtract. 8 minus 6, the answer is 2. So, this is your common ratio. x squared. So, multiply natin dito. So, you have 5x squared multiplied by x squared. So, just copy 5, then x, then add 2 plus 2, we have 4. So, the next one is 5x raised to 4. So, kapag may multiply mo pa ulit si x squared, ito nalalabas, 5x raised to 6. So, dun tayo kay 5x raised to 8 multiplied natin by x squared. So, it is equals to 5x raised to 8 plus 2, we have here 10. We have 5x raised to 10. We're done. So, that is how you are going to find for the missing term of, of geometric sequence. Find the first 5 terms of the following. So, you have a given of a sub 1, which is the first term, and r for the common difference. So, how will you find for the first 5 terms? So, syempre, meron ka ng first term, which is 4. So, for us to find the next term, so, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. Oh, ito na yung pinakauna mo eh, which is 4. Multiply mo lang. 4 times 3, we have here 12. 12 times 3, we have here 36. 36 times 3, we have here 72. Then, 72 times 3, we have here um, 96. Ah, sorry. Um, 196. 
Let's move with the next one. Find the first five terms of the following. We have the given of first term or a sub 1 which is equals to 4 then r which is the common ratio which is equal to 3. So for us to find the first five terms, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So syempre meron time first term which is 4, just right here 4. Then you will just multiply. 4 times 3, the answer is 12. 12 times 3, the answer is 36. 36 times 3, the answer is 72. Then 72 times 3, the answer is 216. We're done. So that is the first five terms. Uh, next, your first term is 2 thirds, then your common ratio is negative 3. So lima ulit. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So your first term is 2 thirds. So your 2 thirds, E mo multiply natin ito by negative 3. So, 2 third times negative 3. So, since we have a fraction, maglagay ka na over 1 para madali. So, ito, pwede natin i-canceled. Canceled out, canceled out. Magiging na itong uh, 1. So, 2 times negative 1 na lang. So, the answer is negative 2. Then, multiply mo na. Negative 2 times negative 3, we have positive 6. 6 times negative 3, the answer is negative 18. Negative 18 times negative 3, we have here positive um, 54. Ayan na. So, that is how you are going to find for the first 5 terms, given the first term and the common ratio. Okay? So, let us have the last one. The difference between the geometric and arithmetic. Let us now differentiate geometric sequence to arithmetic sequence. By definition, Geometric sequence is a sequence where each term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term to its common ratio. While in arithmetic sequence, you can obtain the, the next term of the arithmetic sequence by adding the common difference. Alright? So, si common ratio kay geometric, si common difference kay arithmetic sequence. So, what are the operations involved in these two sequence? Geometric sequence, the involved operation here is multiplication if you are going to find for the succeeding term and division if you are going to find for the common ratio. While in arithmetic sequence, we are going to use addition for us to find for the succeeding term of the arithmetic sequence and subtraction for us to find for the common difference. And then, for the variation of the terms, si geometric sequence is exponential, while in arithmetic sequence is linear. So, that are the difference between geometric sequence and arithmetic sequence. So, hopefully, may natutunan kayo for this lesson, and I know, um, marami kayong nakuhang learnings. So, thank you for listening, guys. Bye-bye!